All right, today we're checking out a Bally 1978 KISS machine. Um, this is an extremely popular machine, uh, not only uh, because of the uh, theme, but also because of the, the cool artwork and the music and all that. Um, it's also a pretty fun game to play. Uh, now looking down, I just want to let you guys check out. This is probably one of the nicest ones you're ever going to see. Um, new play field. Not one of those cheap overlays, an actual new play field that was made from the original artwork and tools that were made to make them originally in 1978. Um, meaning that every single item came off of this play field, both top and bottom. Um, and then got transferred onto this new one. Um, also, new plastics, you can see like pretty much new pop bumper, the pop bumper parts, targets, all that sort of stuff is all new. Um, the game uh, is uh, pretty much typical for the era as far as what you're trying to do here is light up KISS. If you see in the center, one of the main features is that kind of cross pattern of KISS and you're trying to see where the arrows are, you're trying to light now, up columns and rows. Um, also, sinking the, uh, the APC and on the other side the, uh, the drop targets. Rock and roll all night, party every day. And let me just hope that the uh, this thing is. On the oh, that was not a great ball. You also notice that the um, the pop upper caps, each one is a represents a member of Kiss. Um, except for a. Uh, not surprisingly, I love it. So not surprisingly, Gene Simmons uh, is on the spinners. Um, all right, come on. Oh man, that was that was certainly not a great game of Kiss, but it gives you like a little bit of an idea. I, I try to keep these videos pretty short, and that was certainly a sure game. Um, so, this is, again, a Bally Kiss, um, and until uh, next restore.